So when he doesn't wear flannels, he wears random shirts with random countries on it that he's never been to before in his life. I don't know why I own this shirt. It was just in my closet. Maybe I stole it from someone. I don't know. Kind of unlikely though, because I don't think I've ever met anyone in my lifetime that wears the same size shirt as me in the same cut and the same fit. I don't know. I'd like to go to New Zealand though. I haven't been though. I don't know why I own this shirt. This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel. And so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here. And this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh card review slash discussion type video And god damn it if I didn't just spend a ton of time doing like research And like trying to make videos for the whole fucking Magible how-to series nonsense And I expected us to get more support I expected us to get more support for the Magible theme I just expected it to be further down the line I was like okay they're giving us 10 cards in Spirit Warriors And then they're going to release the other extra cards a little bit further down the line I didn't know that they just completely hadn't spoiled the entirety of the archetype in the pack. That's, that's kind of asinine. It's kind of a dick move, Konami. You're making me look bad. But anyway, we have a new level 4 light fiend monster to be used with Ties of the Brethren in the Magic Bullet deck alongside being able to use Ties on the level 3s. So now we got a full play set of level 4s and a full play set of level 3s. So that's what I'm more excited about because I literally just spent yesterday uploading a video on deck building for the How To series and now. It, it, things have to be revised, but anyway, the card is Magibullet Shooter Wild, and it is a light fiend level four effect monster with 1700 attack and 18 or 1800. Jesus Christ, 1700 attack and 900 defense. I'm a little bit blind; my vision's a little blurry. But its effect is you can activate Magibullet spells and traps from your hand during the player's turn. Okay, cool. Same effect, neat. If a spell or trap card is activated in the same column as this card, you can target three Magic Bullet cards in your graveyard, shuffle all three into the deck, then draw one card. You can only use this effect of Magic Bullet Shooter Wild once per turn. So, this card is a Digusto Emerald for the Magic Bullet theme, which does not limit you from shuffling back extra copies or other copies of itself. So, like Cam Serenity of Gusto, like Digusto Emerald, like uh, Disciples of the Draco Phoenix, what other cards do this? I can't quite remember but regardless what this allows is for a potential infinite game plan a potentially incredibly long game state related game plan whenever you're playing the deck because you are capable of resetting all your resource pool the fact that this is also resummonable from grave off calamity summonable off deck off star all that sort of stuff makes this definitely a two of in any magible deck because like i said as long as you're playing two of it you can always shuffle the other copy back into your deck and it's not nearly as fragile as something as Digesto Emerald is, where you have to summon that from your extra deck, and if it dies, you can't revive it. This is just a regular monster, so if your opponent deals with one, you can just summon it back from Grave with Calamity, shuffle it back into your deck off the second copy, do all sorts of stuff, add it back to your hand off Doctor. There's so many different applications you could use for this card that actually make it to where it's just fantastic. It's a little bit more draw power for the deck alongside Kid. I'm absolutely fantastically like in love with this card. I love... Love, love, love when decks have uh, like access to infinite game states. That's what I really loved about Necros when we started playing Double Digusto Emerald to where every single turn you were making Digusto Emerald and resetting the resources in your deck. I love that because that creates complexities in the game, and when those complexities are introduced, the better player is going to be able to use those resources better to their advantage, and is going to benefit the better player in the long run. If you play a Magic Bullet Mirror match and you manage your resources better than your opponent does, then well played, sir, but uh, things are going to be working better for the more skilled player than they are the non-skilled player. So, I've got to do some revisions to some videos and some documents that I'm using in the How-To series, but this is not going to be part of the How-To series. This is literally going to be a card review. Uh, it'll be linked in with the How-To series of how to play Magic Bullets, but I'm not going to use this as an entire video for that because it would break the formula. But... Assuming we get more magic bullet spells and traps, because we only have four of those, and there's supposed to be like seven bullets. Um, assuming we get at least one or two more spell or traps for the magic bullet theme, I don't know what those could do, but I'll also just do other card reviews for those as well, and then just tack them on to the uh, to the how-to theme in terms of they just run parallel with it. But, yeah, this is great. This gives us a very, very good 
card in what we could do. I mean, we could already add cards back with Doctor, and I thought that was pretty all right, but now we just get to put them back into the deck and draw cards, and that's great. That also means that we get to put back the card that you activated. If you activate a Magic Bullet Spell or Trap in the column below this card, that card will resolve and go to the graveyard, and then this card's effect will activate on a new chain, meaning that if you only had two in the graveyard at the point when you activated a Magic Bullet Spell or Trap, then you'd be able to shuffle back three, because at the time of the resolution of that card, there'd be three engrave. then this card would be able to register there's three engrave and activate its effect because a card was activated in the same column as it. So it's really easy to proc this effect, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. But, like, Calamity recycles it, this recycles other copies of itself, Doctor adds this back to hand, this resets your entire resource pool in the deck so that Star can maintain summoning good cards and Caspar can maintain searching good cards. I think this card's fantastic, and it also solves a little bit of the problem of Ties of the Brethren could only be used on the level 3s in the deck. But anyway, I don't want to make this video longer than it needs to be, so let me know what you guys' thoughts are on this card in the comments down below. Stay tuned for the revisions that I'm going to be making to the How To series, and then the gameplay for the How To Play Magic Bolt series that I'm doing on my channel, as basically things have to be adjusted now, because we have a new card to play with. So. Why, why not play with that card, essentially? But let me know what your thoughts are on this card in the comments down below, as I've already said. But otherwise, thanks, as always, for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. Links, as always, are in the description to my Facebook and Patreon pages if you want to support the channel directly, help keep the channel going, help contribute to my ability to continue making quality content of a certain degree and improving the quality, then definitely go check that out if you want to support the channel or support me as a content creator. It would definitely help out a ton, and you'd have my eternal gratitude if that is something you would like to go check out and maybe consider contributing to one of the reward tiers to get something back for yourself for your trouble but other than that as I've already said thanks for watching let me know what your thoughts are again on this card in the comments down below thank you for your time as usual guys and take care I will see you in the next video